Well, to harvest hemp at the Mitchell Park Dome's greenhouses has hit a snag. The County Parks Department is recommending those plans be put on hold. All because of a report. 12 News Kent Wayne Scott is outside the domes and Kent hemp advocates are disputing those findings. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, away from the public areas here at the Mitchell Park Domes that many of us are familiar with is a series of six large greenhouses. And hemp advocates say that growing industrial hemp in just one of those greenhouses could generate up to a half million dollars a year for the county. But a new report out today urges the county to put a hold on those plans, questioning whether this hemp growing idea is more of a gamble than a gold mine. Does growing hemp in a county park facility make sense? The supervisor behind the proposal believes getting in on a potentially booming industry could mean big bucks for the parks department and could even help save the decaying Mitchell Park domes. It's a way for our parks department to get revenues without raising taxes or coming out of a budget. State Senator Lena Taylor agrees and says a hemp operation here would also grow jobs along with helping to fund the budget. This is not only one way to do that, this is a way to build industry. But the new parks department report found that the greenhouses at the domes simply aren't big enough. That's not the, the sort of facility that can support an industrial uh, growing operation like that. The report also raised concerns over unclear laws regulating the crop that's a close cousin of marijuana but without the chemical that gets people high. And it also estimated that the county would struggle to make enough money to offset a $200,000 cost to convert the greenhouses. I mean, that's just absurd. I mean, you really aren't very good at what you're doing if that's what you're doing. Colorado hemp producer Patty Zanin testified that the greenhouses are perfectly suited for hemp. I would probably, probably get 10,000 10, plants, you know, again, depending on how we need some supplemental lighting. And suggested that the board needs to study more and not rely on the park's report. And anybody who's involved in any decision making should have a lot more knowledge. Well, Kent, as we learned in your story, hemp is a crop that needs large areas to grow. So why do the supporters think that the greenhouses could work? Just one of the things they're considering is turning the greenhouses into a sort of seed farm to grow the hemp here and clone or sell the seeds to make money. The, the county board committee didn't take any action today, but this discussion could continue at a full county board meeting later this week. We'll follow up then. Kent Wainscott reporting live.